First, at 6 o'clock, aggressive driving. You've probably noticed it on the roads in West Michigan. And it is not your imagination. Road rage is on the rise. 13 on your side's Morgan Trowell talked with police and behavioral experts to explain what's going on. And Morgan, what are the trends? So far in 2021, uh, 135 people in West Michigan have died in crashes and the Michigan State Police say that this shows an increase in the number of collisions from last year at this time. And they also say that this is an upward trend of dangerous and concerning behavior that they don't know how to stop. So oftentimes people use their cars sort of like a weapon to scare people or intimidate people. I'll come up close behind you or I'll pull close to the side of you or I'll flip you off or I'll hold down my window. Road rage cases are on the rise. Police say crashes are up too and more drivers are being ticketed for speeding. The Michigan State Department of Transportation says already 964 people died from fatal crashes since January. That is already 20 more than the total in 2020, with still two months left until 2021. I know there's several of us that have stopped people going well over 100 mile an hour. We could easily get one every 15 to 20 minutes. The U.S. Department of Transportation says the first half of 2021 shows the largest six-month increase ever recorded in traffic fatalities, with more than 20,000 people dying in crashes, nearly 20% higher than in 2020. Michigan State Police Trooper Lauren Postumis says road rage and reckless driving have dramatically increased in West Michigan over the past year. She believes the pandemic has played a role in this aggressive behavior. Work from home shut down offices, stopped construction, and greatly decreased the number of cars on the road. Postumus says people got used to that, and now people must readjust to more traffic, road work, and vehicles. Threat management expert and former San Diego police officer Steve Albrecht says the routine change is a large factor in road rage, but so is general temperament. The other big part about road rage is territoriality, which is I do own the whole road. You can't come into my lane. You can't come into my space. Postumus says they get numerous road rage calls a day, but they rarely get to the scene to be able to ticket and evaluate. A lot of the times they know that somebody's going to be calling 911. So usually a lot of times they're gone by the time we get there. So without enforcement from police, how do we stop this behavior? MSP and Albrecht says we need to raise the stakes. It's not self-insight that corrects the problem. The change only comes when the consequences are severe enough. To him, that could look like thousands of dollars in fines, mandatory arrests, court-ordered therapy with points on your license. But not everyone agrees. The issue isn't just giving people consequences. We know that actually that doesn't solve the problem. We need to help people build skills. Psychologist Dr. Nicole Birkin says the problem is actually physical. A part of your brain isn't functioning correctly and it needs to be addressed. MSP says they can't see this ending anytime soon if something doesn't change. In the second part of the story, why are people who would typically never behave in this kind of aggression acting out on the road? And what do we do to stop it? That at, in our newscast at 11. Live in Grand Rapids, Morgan Trout, 13 on your side. Juliet.